you can't keep using this as an excuse of not having Zion Williamson. I get the Oklahoma City Thunder has already won two games to the Pelicans, nothing, but this is not an excuse. You are in the playoffs. You have to figure out a way to win ball games. And this series doesn't get much light on it because these teams are in huge markets. They're not the most interesting. Both of these games have been fairly one-sided in the Oklahoma City Thunder just really taking a commanding lead and controlling the game for most of the time. But ultimately, if the Pelicans want a fighting chance without Zion Williamson, this is what they're going to have to do. Brandon Ingram, bro, you have to step up. You are a star. You are an offensive talent who has a great amount of skill. You have to shoot the ball a lot more than 10 times if you want to survive in this series against the Oklahoma City Thunder. Shooting the ball 10 times is not going to get you a fighting chance to go down to the wire with Oklahoma City Thunder. And if it's not going to be Brandon Ingram that does this for the Pelicans, somebody else has to be a scoring threat. You got to let it fly. Zion Williamson helped helped the the, uh, Pelicans in so many different ways on the defensive end and also on the offensive end because he could create on the offensive end and he was playing great defense and rebounding on the defensive end. But when you don't have that, you don't match up well against the Thunder from an offensive perspective or a defensive perspective because they're running circles around you. So what do you do to survive? Let it fly. Let your good shooters shoot the ball. Let your offensive guys who who have a good amount of skill set, let them shoot the ball. This is the only way you're going to survive. How do you think we see the Miami Heat going toe-to-toe with the Boston Celtics without Jimmy Butler? Because they get the ball in guys who can score the ball's hand. Tyler Hero, he has the ball, and he's letting it fly when he's on the floor. And this is helping the Miami Heat stay afloat because a good player is either going to make the shot or miss the shot. That's the worst that's going to happen. And if he's a truly a good player, he has a good chance at making sure the shot drops taking a good shot but it's no excuse for the pelicans to be you know pulling up and saying oh we already lost this series because of zion williamson no make a coaching adjustment the pelicans is losing because they don't defend well and they can't they can't score the ball enough they're playing passive on an offensive end on when they're going against the oklahoma city thunder seeing people pass up shots they should be taking so that, that's one error that they got to fix. Guys who are skilled offensively, they're not aggressive when shooting the ball, and that 1,000% has to change. As far as the Oklahoma City Thunder, I, hey, this is a solid team. They're, they're a good team. I'll give them credit. I'll give them credit where it's due, man. That, that's a solid team over there. I think they're going to wrap the series up in four games. They're versatile. They can beat you however you want it and however you allow them to beat you. And I absolutely love, I love that they are just really, really utilizing the mid-range game. And this team, they not, they're not fixated on shooting a three-pointer or only getting a layup. They take whatever you give them on the offensive end, and it's beautiful. It's beautiful. We see a lot of teams that's thriving right now in the playoffs play this way, where they're taking whatever the offense or whatever the defense gives them. And this is how you should be playing basketball. If it's an open layup, you take the open layup. If there's a lane that allows you to go to the cup and get a layup, you should do you should do it. Take advantage of it. So I, I like this Oklahoma City Thunder, man. I, I, I've been giving them a lot of hell over the past probably month or so, just how they're young. And I still think they're going to probably get the boots second round when they play the Clippers or the Mavericks. But ultimately... It, it will be a good series. I, I mean, they're a good team. They play well. They play defense. They rebound. They take good shots on the offensive end. And the role guys, outside of Chet and, and um, uh, the, the Mr. MVP right now, they're playing good. 